What's up everybody, this is Sancho West and welcome to my Last of Us multiplayer tips video and I'm going to hopefully give you some new tips or give you an interesting perspective on this crazy intense multiplayer. Right now I'm going to do supply raid and what I'm first going to do is tell you how to be a better player on your own and then after that I'm going to tell you how to be a better teammate because it's all about team in this mode. No doubt about it, if you do not play with the team or you don't have some kind of frame of teamwork, you're going to lose. So first up, we're going to go ahead and check out some basic loadouts. As you see, here's my custom loadouts. I like to mix it up. Sometimes the situation calls for a different kind of loadout. I mean, that's a generic cliche type of thing to say, but you got to have your up close, up far. Always buy a booster, in my opinion, as we pass that screen. And just to check out the missions right here, always pick a mission that you know you can accomplish because you don't want to lose a lot of your population. Stick with me because these tips are going to come really fast and I'll do my best to slow down. Okay, First off, Fire, the most close. important thing Shoot, is shot. find a routine. What I mean is that find a route that you want to go down. Pretty much each map has three different routes, left, middle, and right. Keep going down the same path you need to develop a, a routine. And each of the paths on the left and right usually have a supply. See, it's right here. Let's freeze frame it. Left, middle, right. Whatever you pick, just stick to that so that way nothing surprises you. Now let's move on to movement. There's of course running, walking, and crouch walking. Please, this is not Call of Duty. You can't be running around all willy-nilly. This is like a pool. No running. Let's go. Let's Please go. guys, walk around if you need to. That's the best thing I can do. Recommend is walk and then crouch walk when you're about to get into a firefight situation. Crouch walking when you still get seen by the listening mode. So use it sparingly in the sense of that. Try to stay still as much as possible when you're in confrontation or when you're in a firefight. Now, more importantly, the shooting's a lot different. The kickback from all the guns, as you see here, you gotta find the rhythm. Pop, pop, pop. The revolver has a slow rhythm, so find the rhythm of your gun. Now, now the most important thing about this game is you have to get supplies. Supplies give you the upper advantage, you get the board, you get all these crazy things to craft, smoke bombs, medical kits, and of course, the bombs themselves. Now, what I like to do for a cheap uh, knockdown, so to speak, is put kind of leave a bomb at the tackle box, but leave it in a place where they can't get to it. Trust me, guys, it's a great tactic. I fell for it a lot. So that's why I'm showing you this footage right here. Look at all our team members. We don't see the bomb underneath the car. Bow! All three of us knocked down without the fourth member in sight. So, one, be careful of bombs around tackle boxes. And two, go ahead and leave a bomb there or a tackle box, toolbox, whatever. It's very simple. Just go ahead and craft a bomb and leave it in a space where you don't think you would look for it. Right here, my favorite place to leave it in this Bills town is right near the stairs, right behind them. It's a great way. It's it's. I love this system. It's a clever mind system. So leave bombs near supply places and be careful of bombs near them. Let's we'll move on to the next point here of marking. It's important to mark. It's something I'm not used to. So please mark your enemies. It helps out all the other players around you just to know where they are. And of course, if you have the Eagle Scout perk it's even better so mark your enemies it's something you gotta get used to guys next up melee melee if you have an armor just like this go crazy go ahead and take anyone out because your armor is going to go ahead and take out some things now in this instance use the camera wisely see check that out. i love third person shooting go ahead and go to work with your melee but if you feel like you're gonna get whopped out go ahead and back up and just hit them with your gun so that's the great thing about the melee system you gotta go ahead and mix it up bow take that Another advanced tactic that I like to use is, you know, pay attention to your teammates. If you see one in trouble, just check out that blue outline. I know they're about to get executed. So you got to go ahead and rush to the scene and take care of business. And of course, rhythm shots. You want to be careful. You don't want to go in there, spray and pray. It's not Call of Duty. I have to say that a million times. So just be careful. Be patient. And of course, execute with caution. You don't want to execute when other enemies are nearby. Here's another example of my teammate going down, and I'll go ahead and put him on the barbecue skillet. I love that flamethrower, by the way. You can see a lot of that flamethrower in this video. So pay attention when a partner goes down. Here's another example of a teammate going down, and I went to business. Now, his mistake was he doesn't make sure the execution is clear. Always, always, always make sure your execution is clear from enemies, because if not, you're going to get down yourself. And always reload. Reload after every firefight. Reload. Look at that mistake. I didn't reload, and I paid the price, and three of my members are down. Also, see, as you see here, I'm marking, but when you do get down, please do not stay still. Crawl towards the nearest member and make sure you crawl to a place where it's safe. Communicate with your team member and tell them, hey man, go behind that crate. I'll meet you right there. I need some to be revived. It's important not to leave your other teammate out in the open because they could get down too, and that's the worst thing ever. 
All right, here's some tips about the projectiles. We went over briefly about bombs itself. I like to leave them as mines. That's my personal preference because it gets you the cheap down for you don't have to be engaged all the time. But also, you can throw it into a crowd of people. They're not paying attention. But the smoke bombs, I love them using them as See him take this. Let's move. I love using smoke bombs to change my position to cover my trail so the, the opposition does not know where I am. It's important to keep your position in under wraps and also it's important for the, to flank the enemy. Now here's some general tips about the Molotovs. Now Naughty Dog said it himself in the little tip bar. Throw the Molotov while you're covered. That's a general tip for all the projectiles. If you're throwing Molotovs as well, throw it on something like a wall, like a, like, a, like a bank shot. That's the best way to guarantee that you at least hit the other guy. It's a lot harder to hit a Molotov shot when they're out in the open and you're trying to aim it as they're trying to do their zigzag motion, things like that. So, now onto some more tactics involving your teammates. Now sometimes you gotta use your teammates as bait. I used my teammate right there as bait and I knew he was gonna get attacked from the guy who threw a smoke bomb. I took advantage of the situation, hit him with my machete. Now right here I'm in a firefight with somebody. My partner's on the left right there and he is the only one being seen by the enemy because I have the covert training too which means I cannot be seen with listening mode on. Of course if you're not moving you could just stay still. In this situation I'm using my teammate as bait and I'm hoping this enemy go ahead and goes ahead and goes attacks the other guy so I can sneak from behind. But that doesn't happen and my teammate gets kind of anxious because he's getting shot at and well, what are you going to do? My, my teammate goes after him and does the charge and I tried, I tried, I tried, I swear to go ahead and capitalize and help my teammate but I was a little too late. Please, Naughty Dog, adjust that. If I stop the animation for execution, I need to interrupt that and save my teammate. And in the end, if you die, use the cameras. Start looking at the other cameras, the fixed cameras. Hit R1 so you can go ahead and you can pick up the enemy's position. As you can see there, by hitting R1, now I know where they are when I go back into battle. Now on some tips about being a great teammate. One, watch your partner's back as they're doing the execution. That is key. A lot of people like to sneak up on your other partner. So be a cool teammate. Watch your partner's back. Also, what you definitely want to do in the situation is if you see some firefight going down across the way and someone's you know, yelling for help, man, just get there. Get there as fast as you can. You never know what's going to happen. You could revive your opponent. And you get 100 points just reviving somebody. I did not mean to burn my partner. Revive. It's important to revive. Don't get deaths on your own side. Also, as you can see here, my partner is down. And there's some great teamwork happening right here, folks. Right now, I'm, there, people are getting marked. I'm able to see people through the walls due to that um, Eagle Scout. That's what I want to stress to you guys. You got to have work as a team. One person can have that perk. The other person can, needs to be the medic to bandage everybody. And another person needs to be more uh, uh, aggressive with the bombs. As you see here, my partner goes down. I stay in, in a position. I don't rush out, out there because if I go down too, we're not going to get help. We're not going to be able to heal each other. So be patient. You know, Strive to run for cover and things like that. Here's another example of it falling short. My partner goes down. I run to a place where we could both be safe. I tell him to come towards me. And I try to heal him, but of course the enemy right there pegs him. That, that's okay. It happens. No need to be mad. Here's another great example. My partner's getting chased. I block him. That's right. I sacrifice myself. Take me instead. Ah. Teamwork, guys. Teamwork is the key. Here's another great teamwork right here. We are holding down one side of the map in Bill's Town. And... Basically what happens, I, I have this hunch that someone's behind us. So always watch your six or watch your back. If you feel like you're stationary, your teams are looking one way, there's always an enemy watching. And just like that, I saw him in the camera. I told the guys, hey man, someone's coming behind us. Someone's coming behind us in the situation safe. And at the same time, if you see everybody's stagnant and everyone's shooting like in the naked gun behind the trash can, because there's a lot of these firefight situations where everyone's just standing still shooting behind boxes and corners. Now a lot of people think that's boring, but I think that's intense. It means you got to be smart. So right here, I noticed that everybody's looking one way, and I know behind this building there's another alley. So what I'm going to do is flank the opposition and go the other way while everyone's distracted. Maybe I'll get a couple of shots. As you see here, I see that no one's looking at me. I go ahead and go to work with my rhythm shots. Boom, boom, boom. Important to keep the rhythm. As you see there, now everybody comes in and takes advantage of the situation. I like that team who work. Now here's another situation where I'm once again meleeing. If you get the first punch, keep at it. Go to work and always check around. Look around, make sure no one else is around before you do the execution. Now what I like to do is I like to leave that person alive just in case someone shows up to tries to save them. Now you're about to see me fail right here because I see that happen. I jump the banister and nope, they dropped the bomb. Clever, clever, clever because of course bombs don't really hurt each other. 
Here's another example of great teamwork happening right here. The guy's being marked. Everyone is working together. Marking. I can't stress that. That's very important to mark your opposition. And I've, I'm not used to that. I got to admit to that. So I got to get used to marking my the, the the target that I see. Now I'm getting better at it to be to be um, honest with you guys. But just to hit R3, it's really simple. I mean, your hands already on the your thumbs already on that button. But as you can see here, I go down. I crawl back to safety. I'm just going to show you guys examples of great teamwork that I'm building with my team. Now, you're asking me, are you doing this through headset? Now, to be honest, my buddies and I, we use Skype because it's a little bit better. It's a little bit clearer um, communication than the PlayStation headphones. So, I use Skype. As you can see here, all that's going down, and I get a hunch feeling someone's coming from behind the back. So, I'm just showing you footage of all the tips working together at once. And if you guys get lost, I know I'm kind of going pretty fast through all this, but I'm trying to cover as many subjects as possible in the future I will do more detailed commentaries I just want to introduce myself to the last of us community so it's important there watch the six watch the flanks know where the other routes are and I see that uh, using my great skills and he was being marked I went hit him with machete but I did not see the bomb oh that bomb that's a great way it's, it's, it reminds me of that one perk in Call of Duty you could drop the the nade there here's another opportunity to throw to drop a bomb speaking of that is when there's a smoke bomb, just go ahead and drop it in the craziness that happens. I really do believe there's not a really there's friendly fire on those things. I could be wrong, but I haven't hurt anybody with my own bombs. As you see there, we were going some craziness. The bomb, boom, hit that guy running into the room, and we're all helping right, each other. If you don't have a friend in the PlayStation Network, try to get a friend right, because go. you're not going to have as much fun playing this mode by yourself. It is... Not fun at all. Here's some more examples of teamwork. My partner goes down, and I wasn't paying attention to the gun that was being used. So pay attention to the opponent's gun. He had a shotgun, and I made the no-no um, of going into that battle alone. But look at all my teammates go to work. Oh, look at my squad. I go ahead. See, I crawl to safety. I crawl right behind that little crate right there so my boy can help me out, revive me. Now here's what I like to do. I like to do scouting. So you got to know the position. That's the most I think the most valuable part of multiplayer in this game. Positioning because it's it's easy to sneak up on people. I went ahead and provided the distraction. Right here distraction's fun. That's an advanced tactic. Just running into being crazy. So don't forget to do that as well and tell the members, you know, waste the bullets on them as you're running through and as your other Hold teammates on. show up Let's and go. go to work. And that's what we did to this poor guy. He was the last one standing. And I gave him the flame for barbecue style. I know it's nasty. Last of Us, you're so gross. Here's another important topic. Sudden death. You're, we are getting worked. This game, you will get worked every now and then. You will run into a better team. or Just the dominoes fall the wrong way. We are down by a lot. But what you want to do is hold up. Now I'm not an expert in this game. I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm just I just have the opportunity to tell you guys who are new to this game or who are struggling in this game how to get better. And hopefully this video has helped you. But when you're the last, it's the last minute, and you're you're down by this much, just hold up together. Everybody, just hold up and see. This is right here. Someone has to be a medic. My guy right there is healing me up. That's the only way you can survive in this situation, especially when you're holding up. You want to get to a place where there's not that many entrances and exits that, that way you can watch. And my teammate right here, we are in the, I, we like to call this the bell tower or the, the clock tower. And there's no way that we could win this, but we could survive as long as possible. Always use your armor. Armor is very important at this point in the, the, the match because it can get kind of nasty and always communicate. Uh, as I said, we use Skype simply because it's communication is a little bit clearer and Y you know, I don't know. Sometimes the headsets. I don't want anyone else to hear the opposition hear my movements. Let's be real, guys. But here we are, in the in the the S. You know, in the shit, literally. And we're just trying to hold it together. And that guy, he went out by himself. That's his fault. And he wasn't part of our par party. So that's what I mean. You know, you want to form up together, and and just communicate with each other. I cannot stress that. Boom, boom. Hit him with the melee. He's down. That, that only worked because I had armor and he did not have armor. So that's where, oh, see, as you can see, craziness is happening. And my partner, he's rambunctious, but he has that upgraded craft weapon right here with the board. And I'm watching his back. And sometimes you got to retreat. As you see there, I'm not attacking that guy. I know he has a jump on me. 
And as you see there, I use the other partner as bait, and I fry both of them. Mmm, delicious. Mm, mm, mm. I love that flamethrower. That flamethrower is is only takes up two loadout points, and it's great to use in a close-up situation because it's scary to get flamethrowered to death. Let's be real. It's kind of a scary experience when you, you don't know that's going to come. And as you saw there, it's very, very potent, and, and it kills people very quickly. Uh, as you see there, I'm getting bandaged. We're surviving, and we got this down to uh, five. So we went from 11 to five by sticking together. Good and to you know, granted, we could probably move to another spot, but we're getting some good luck here, and everybody's taking care of each other, especially when you have a medic on your team and you have someone marking people. And this is what's just this game is just so intense, you know. It's so much better than Call of Duty multiplayer. You have to mind, be mindful of your bullets, be mindful of your medical kits, and work as a team. I never played a game like this before. Back in the day, I used to play SOCOM 2, and SOCOM 2 was probably the closest to this, but of course, you, because SOCOM, you only have one life, one round, and that was intense, but you still didn't work as much as a team as this game. And I'm watching the steps, and I'm telling them, hey guys, if someone's in the steps, because you gotta always watch your six. My partner show up, finish the job right there, but they just, Ram sacked us and ended the match and I'm I'm crawling for forgiveness. Please help me, don't hit me. I'm just trying hopefully someone could revive me and to keep this match alive and they just over they just over sanked us, man. That was a great match. And you know, that's my general tips. I really appreciate you guys this Blix Creed, my introduction to Last of Us. I love this game. I can't wait to give you guys some more videos on this game of multiplayer i've been using the bow recently and maybe i'll give you some tips on that please like share subscribe if you have any comments or questions on how to make this series better please comment below i'm always open to you guys' feedback and i would love to play with you guys some video games i appreciate the time this is sancho west Ooh, yeah.